Before we start, if you could go check out thefootfactory.com, use code DAN5 for 5% off, and you can get your coins very quickly for £18 per mil. Hey, what's up guys, Dan here with another squad, but I've got a nice 200k gold and silver mix with players like second in form Gustavo, Andy Carroll and Elton. So before we start, could you hit that like button and get us to 100 likes? I'd appreciate all your support. Comment down below what you thought of the squad and also the video. And also, if you haven't already, go check out the coin site down below and also my Twitter, give it a follow. So let's get into the squad using the 3-5-2 formation, which I do like a lot on FIFA 14. It's very overpowered. And we start from goal with a really overpowered keeper. That is Manuel Neuer. 86 rated, probably my favourite keeper on FIFA. 14 um, apart from team of season check that is but he's got 85 diving 91 kicking and 87 reflexes some crazy stats and he'd cost me just under 70k so quite an expensive keeper but he's definitely worth it he's six foot four catches a lot from the corners now we've got three center backs in this team we start from um, inform naldo 81 rated with 75 pace uh, 84 defending and 80 heading um, i pay 61k for him so another expensive player but he's six foot six he's got a really powerful free kick with the high attacking work rate and medium defensive he's a really good defender and wins everything in the air. Now next to him in the centre back position we do actually have a gold player it is Boateng in a Bi- from Bayern Munich he's 83 rated, another really overpowered centre back, he's 6 foot 4 got the medium work rates and he only costs 1.5k. Now I've played 20 games with him so far and he's been brilliant every single one of those. He's really good at tackling and he's just a really good centre back Now finally this team we've got a, a sil- silver centre back and that is uh, I think it's uh, Quack Tai Hui I'm sorry about the pronunciation, I'm not too sure about it but he's from the Arab League he's got 63 pace 72 defending and 84 heading now uh, he's got the medium attacking and high defensive work rates and what I noticed with him in the 10 games which I played with him he's got really good heading I mean he won everything which was put into the box and like from the opponent and I've really liked him as a keeper now we can move on to like some defensive clips right here we've got a nice header from my defender right there and that's what you can expect from this team you've got players like Naldo to win headers and um, he's, he's really strong in the ball I mean you face opponents like Ibra but look at that Neuer just showing you how good he is and that's what you can expect from a keeper like him now finally this last defender clips right here and um, we've got like, the defender running through here but it's stopped by Quack Tai Hui um, a great challenge from him now he didn't seem too like too slow even against like attackers who had like 90 pace but we can move on to the midfield right here we've got two CDMs a cam and two wingers it works so well with a 3-5-2 formation but we start off in a CDM position we've got Kariri he's 71 rated a silver player with 66 pace 71 heading and 72 defending now he costs 8k definitely worth it he's got great passing with 5 star weak foot so you can shoot with either foot and pass with either foot it just works so well with him he, he always seemed to be in the right place at the right time as well and he's quite a strong t- tackler as well now in the right mid position we've got Al Dosari, who's a really skillful winger. He's 69 rated with 85 pace, 73 dribbling, and um, 67 shooting. Now he's got he got me two goals and five assists in 10 games for 3.8k. He got quite involved in the action, and he's got the high attacking work rate and made low defences. Sorry. Now finding his cam position, we've got um, 74 rated Elton. A lot of you will know him. He cost me 55.5k. Always been quite a good player on FIFA. He's got two goals and two assists in 10 games for me, and. Um, He's actually got five star skimmers, which I mean, he's so small and he's so weak. He's five foot three. He's one of the like smallest players I've used on FIFA 14, but still, he's a really skillful player. He's got a decent shot in him as well. Now, in a CDM position, we've got Luis Gustavo. That is the second informed version. I think that was during the World Cup we got that card. He's got the medium attacking and high defensive work rates, and he's actually got a decent shot on him. I mean, he's got a 60 shooting, but still, he's got a decent left peg on him. He's got 86 defending, but you you consider him more of a defensive midfielder, and he costs you 40k, which isn't too bad either. Now, in a left mid position to complete this midfield, we do actually use um, it is Jarvis, actually. You wouldn't expect that. But he's 77 rated with 87 pace and 78 dribbling with the high attacking work rate and low defensive. He's actually got 5-star weak foot, so again you can use either foot. So that's two 5-star weak foot so far and one 5-star skiller. And he got me two goals. And look at that, nine assists in ten games, which is brilliant from a left mid position. But it's all about the putting the balls into the box for like the two strikers. And it just works so well. I mean, Jarvis won a few balls in the air and that was the two goals which I got with him but mainly he like fired the balls into the box for the strikers to get their head on them because that's how good they were now if you enjoyed this video so far could you hit that like button and get us to 100 likes I'd show your support uh, I'd appreciate your support and um, also 
if you, if you didn't know already, I'm actually going to Reading Festival tomorrow, and so the videos won't be daily, but I'll try and get like four or five out f like from me for you. So if you could show your support on them as well, I'd appreciate all that. Now look at this for like a nice guy right here. It's Aldasari who picks up the ball, and he couldn't have placed that chip even better. I mean, let me know if you're going to Reading Festival as well. Comment that down below. I mean, I know a few people going off Twitter, but um, not too many. I mean, some of them are going to Leeds. I know Jack and mate is, and also Odd Conflict. But yeah, they're both going to Leeds, and I'm going to Reading. But it is identical. I mean, they've got both the same acts, but on different days. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to like bands like Arctic Monkeys, Blink-182 and Queens of the Stone Age. Let me know what you think of like the artists from Reading and Leeds Festival. Now, um, we can move into the midfield right here. We've got, um, well, uh, Kariri, I mean, he didn't push forward to get that short way, but once he did, he's got a decent shot in him. And we can move into the final two players in this squad. We actually got... A, a target man who's actually really overpowered on FIFA. Um, we do use Andy Carroll, who I mean, I'm wanting to use him for ages. He's just so good in the air. That's what is so good about him. He's 77 rated with 73 pace, 74 shooting, and 88 heading. Now that 88 heading is what he's about. He got me 13 goals and four assists in 10 games, and he cost me 800 coins. And you can just tell why he got so high enough. I can't remember what that thing is, but where the top like. Top 50, was it? Top 50 strikers on FIFA 14. Now, he got right up there in the top 10. Now, um, we can move to the striker next. And we're actually using Doris Fwakaputu. He is a, um, I think it's, oh, I can't remember. DR Congo, that's where he's from. But he's also good in the air. But I'd, I'd use him for his shooting a lot more instead of his heading. But he's got 78 pace, uh, 64 dribbling, and 68 shooting. Some decent stats. But he's also got 86 heading. So both strikers have really good heading. He's got the medium attacking and low defensive work rates. And he got me 10 goals and 2 assists in 10 games. So both strikers together got me 23 goals in 10 games, which isn't too bad at all. Now we've got some clips right here. We've got um, Doris Fuakaputu getting through on goal. And once he gets on goal, he's always got such a good shot. Now if you... If you're like at this point in a video and um, you've, you, like, you're thinking what to say about this video, could you comment down below what your like improvements, your suggestions for improvements for this video, what I could do better, what I could do like, what I could change? I'd appreciate all your feedback. Now, um, Fakaputu and Andy Carroll linked up so well. I mean, Carroll had that perfect link with uh, Matt Jarvis. That's how Matt Jarvis got that nine assist. He always got down that wing. Put a perfect ball into Andy Carroll. And um, what I'd advise, if you do use this team, not to use Andy Carroll on his right foot. Now, that's why I've used him at that left striker position. Because he's like so good on that left-hand side. Shooting a cross goal, that's what's so overpowered on FIFA 14. Now, let's talk into like some FIFA 15. I mean, we've got that coming on the 26th of September in Europe. And uh, we've got the demo coming in September as well. All to look forward to with the web app as well. I just can't wait. I'll probably get a few pack openings on opening day. Also, let me know what you want on my channel on FIFA 15. I mean, I'm definitely wanting to get as many squad builders out already, like on FIFA 15 in the first week or so. I'll probably be getting the early access as well. I mean, um, I'm not sure if we'll get six hours like gameplay or the actual five days like last year. And uh, so, let me know what you think of that. Also, like, I just want to find out what's overpowered. I'll try to let you know in videos what what is overpowered. I mean, like, we had FIFA 13, we had the uh, near post, the front post shot, which was so good. Um, I, I'd say this year, I mean, the heading's really overpowered, but the across goal shots from, like, far out and from inside the box is so overpowered. Um, a nice built-up goal right there from Doris and a few other players. I mean, it's a nice header from him as well. Uh, Andy Carroll linked up with Elton. Uh, Elton didn't get as involved as much as I thought he would. But look at that for a really nice goal from him. Now, um, probably the best players in this squad were informed Luis Gustavo was really good, actually. I mean, also, um, Quack Tai Hui, he was really good at def defending. He always won things in the air. I was just so surprised. I mean, you know the positions where you'd expect the opponent to score where the header was just so easy to do. But this... This defender was so good at defending those headers. It was unbelievable. He was always in the right place at the right time. Now, also, you've got Andy Carroll, who's a really good header of the ball. He just... I don't know why he's putting the ball into the box, so he should be in there winning headers himself. But still, it, it, it creates those chances, which which is why I enjoyed the squad. I mean, I won most of the games which I played with them. I mean, even against players who previously I'd lost quite a lot to, including Seagriffo55. I mean, I played him a lot of times. And even when I, he had a goalkeeper team, he managed to do really well. Now, thank you for watching this video of mine. Could you hit that like button? Get us to 100 likes. I appreciate your support. And also comment down below what you thought. Thank you for watching. Have a very nice day. And see you later.